Ah, hello there, my good sir. Do you have any mole rat teeth? I would like to craft a little necklace for my girlfriend, Piper. Yeah, you know her. Yeah, I know. She's, you know... The, fi the one, but I really want to do this for her. Now, please tell me you have some, because I do not feel like going to the glowing sea or wherever to just go find mole rats and, and take their teeth. It's kind of disgusting. No. Oh well, I guess it's off to killing mole rats again. Well, I didn't find any mole rat teeth, so I guess I'm just gonna start the tutorial. Hello there viewers, Expert Bomber here, and welcome to another Fallout 4 tutorial. So today I have for you a tutorial on how to find and fix, possibly, uh, level 4 merchant, the Vault Tech Rep. Now, you guys know who this guy is, he's a little annoying salesman in the beginning of the game, trying to get you in this whole futuristic place, which is all basically the commonwealth and radioactive disgustingness and human experiments in Vault, but you know, that's basically who this guy is. And he is, he has become a ghoul, he has been ghoulified, whatever you want to call it. And the way to get this guy, well actually, let me show you what he sells. Now he does sell legendary items, and I'm gonna show you what he sells. Well, for, for one, he just sends like, ran, he just sells like random junk, like a lot of random junk. But he also sells some apparel. Now, I don't know, it's, he supposedly sells two things, I think a chest plate and a, a arm, like one of the things you put on your arm, I don't know what those are called. But to get this guy, you have to go to the town of Good Neighbor, which is not in the least good, but I'm gonna show you where you have to go. Alright, so here I am in Good Neighbor, the ghoul city, basically, what I like to call it. Not, I don't know if there's only... Drifter. Okay, there's drifters, not no ghouls, but anyway. So basically, you come into Good Neighbor, you just go around this place, and where the hell is it? Oh, here we are. The Hotel Rexford, and you basically come in here, give no shits about the receptionist that is just sitting there, go up here, and he will not be here, he will be... Over here, now he will open either this door, I think it's this door, yes. He will open this door, and you can start a dialogue with him. And basically, like, you talk, like, he he's gonna tell you all his problems, that it's been hard, yada, yada, yada. Until you get to the part where you can actually ask him to work for you. Now, you're gonna have to have a little bit of charisma, but I don't think it's gonna be too hard to convince him. And you just send him to your settlement. Now, I'm gonna show you how to, act, how to actually fix him. Alright, so I'm back to the general trader store, and basically, I forgot to mention what you have to do to actually assign him to sell you the legendary items whatsoever. So you basically need to go to your um, stores, go to under trader, and you will have three. You have the trading stand, the trading shop, and the trading emporium. Now you want to build a trading emporium. And that will cost you uh, 1,500 bottle caps. Uh, you will need to use 5 wood and 3 steel. And you will also need to have uh, a few perks. The perks you will need are Cap Collector on rank 2 and Local Leader on rank 2. Um, these are quite simple perks. I think you unlock them at least at level 20. But anyway, after you build this, just assign him to that and voila. He will sell you the Apocalypse Left Grieve. Oh, and let me just show you what that actually looks like. Okay, I was completely mistaken on what the Apocalypse Left Grieve is. It is actually a uh, leg armor. And let me show you what it looks like. It's kind of like metal armor type thing. But you get the point, that's what it looks like. But I have the Freefall armor, so I'm not using this stuff anymore. It was useful until I found like, well... I'm not going to spoil what the freefall armor is for you. So to actually fix this guy, you need to open your console commands, uh, typing that squiggly key, which I still have no idea what it's called, um, and you want to type, uh, this say you want to actually get his ID. His ID is, I'm going to tell you right now, his ID is... 0003 one fb 4 
So you want to do PRID 00031FB4. You want to type the command disable, then enable, and then move to space player. And that is basically it on how to get him there. So he's, there's probably almost zero chance of him not being commandable after you get him to your settlement. So anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And also comment down below any problems or questions you have uh, with the Voltec Red. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.